Hi everyone, this is Olivia from Live to Teach. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I have had so many people ask me how my RTI progress monitoring spreadsheet is any different than something we might create just by generating a quick graph from a table that we create in Excel. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how this works and what it is and what makes it so different and innovative and useful. So what you'll do is you'll begin by opening it up and you'll just see this page right here under the students tab where you'll list your student's name and you'll just simply type in the student's name really easily do George Washington and once you have that name entered in you can decide which areas you're concerned about and which ones you're going to monitor their progress on I'm going to say that I'm concerned with his math um, I'm not really concerned with his reading, and I'm very concerned with his writing. So you enter in all of your students. I'm going to come down here because I've already done all of that for us. So once you have everything in there, you can go ahead and click right here where it says RTI Progress Monitoring. And simply by clicking there, it brings up this form. Now I'm going to go ahead to George, and I'm going to go to his writing. You can see I've already filled in right there where his issue of concern lies, the targeted intervention strategy, and the implementation of the process, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I've also entered in what constitutes success. That's the target, where I want him to be by the end of the nine weeks that I'm tracking or monitoring. So each week you'll come in and you'll just simply type in the score of the student and the score of the class average. Now, after nine weeks, you'll have generated this great little graph right here. You can see that if you don't have these, it does update as you enter in information. So as you enter in your information, it does automatically grow and change and develop for you very easily. Now you can see at the beginning, he was at a 40, and now he is, wow, he's at an 80. So he's definitely made growth and met the expectation and even surpassed the expectation, which is fantastic. So the strategies that we chose did work for this fictitious child. Um, if only it was always that easy and that spectacular. Um, but at anyway, what you'll do is you will then, after you've entered in your information, you'll click Save Changes every time, and that will save the changes for you so that you can easily come back to it anytime you want. It also allows you to toggle between students. So you can see right here, anyone who's in the writing appears right here and I can easily toggle between Amelia Earhart, Thomas Edison, and even go back to George Washington if I want to compare and contrast what's similar and different and which strategies might work for more than one child. Um, the other great thing is that it only shows the kids that need monitoring for that subject. So that'll keep you from accidentally creating a progress monitoring form for a child when it's not necessary and that it's they don't display a need for it. So if they don't need it, their name just simply won't appear in the list, which is great. Um, one thing also is if you are typing and you realize, oh man, I have a lot to say, it will automatically create this scroll bar right here so that you can scroll down and easily type as much or as little as you need to. So that's a great little feature that you wouldn't typically get in just a generic text box that you would insert yourself in a um, spreadsheet. So that's there. And then it is also very easy to print. You simply come up here, you push print, and then print again. And it prints immediately, which is great. It makes it easy to bring to an RTI meeting. It's fancy, and it just shows that you really have been doing your best and doing everything you can to track your students' progress and make sure that they are getting the assistance they need. And when you're in a meeting with all of your administration and people from the county and all the other people who might teach that child, it definitely makes you shine to have such a professional document right there at your fingertips where you can answer any question about any child regardless how many children you may have in RTI because a lot of times if you have more than one it does get tricky to remember what you're tracking for each child and where their needs lie. So this really helps break it down in an easy 
to access manner and just shows that you have your stuff together and you are ready and that's ultimately the best impression you can make and the best way to make an impact on that child's life so that's the document um, it's on my teacher pay teacher under live to teach for 588 and it's called RTI progress monitoring I hope that you'll um, find this useful and that will help save you many hours of work and many headaches that come from all this data that we are <laughs> keeping track of on a daily basis uh, please let me know if you have any questions or any concerns or anything I'm happy to answer questions just simply go to my teacher pay teacher and contact me I thank you so much for watching this and I look forward to hearing from you and I just wish you happy teaching thank you